use truth tables to show that the argument forms referred to in 13 through 21 are valid. Indicate which columns represent the premises and which represent the conclusion, and include a sentence explaining how the truth table supports your answer. Your explanation should show that you understand what it means for a form of argument to be valid. Okay, so let's start by making the truth table. Okay, so we need to create three statement forms. P implies Q, not Q, and not P. Let's start with P implies Q. So P implies Q is false precisely when P is true and Q is false, which is the second line. Every other line is true. Next, we'll do not Q. And lastly, we'll do not P. Okay, so now let's interpret this truth table. So this argument form is valid only when, whenever the assumptions are true, the conclusion has to also be true. We don't have to consider situations where any of our assumptions are false. We only have to consider the situations in which our assumptions are true. So in the first line, not Q is false. And so one of our assumptions is false, which means that we don't have to consider the first line to determine whether this is valid or not. In the next line, P implies Q is false, which means one of our assumptions is false, and so we don't have to consider whether or not this makes the argument form invalid. On the third line, not Q is false again, and so again, our assumptions are not true, which means we don't need to consider this line at all. And on the last line, both assumptions are true, which means that the conclusion has to be true in order for this to still be valid, which is the case. So every time the assumptions are true, the conclusion is therefore true, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So whenever the assumption statement forms are true, the conclusion is also true. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.